Breaking news in Rocky River tonight. A massive fire at a condo complex under construction, raging flames and plumes of black smoke rising into the air. Good evening. That fire burning so hot and dangerous that at one point I 90 was shut down because the winds blew debris and ash over the interstate. Dorsina Drakeford has been on the scene for hours. She joins us now live with new information. Dorsina. Well, new tonight, Lena, it looks like a lot of the chaos that was happening earlier today has calmed down behind me. Only a couple of fire trucks remain earlier today. Several departments were here trying to fight this massive fire, like you mentioned. And though it might be out now, people are still worried about what's next. I've never seen anything like that around here yeah, at all. Here down side streets and from the highway, you could see the flames. Super backed up. I could barely, like it was almost traffic was almost at a standstill. For this, viewer submitted drone video shows the debris and smoke rising to fall on the interstate. For about an hour, I-90 was closed. We ended up closing I-90 down for fires along I-90 where the grass was on fire and such. All stemming from a massive fire at Rockport River Luxury Condos. The building under construction and unoccupied. It was like an inferno. Fire, the fire was about 30, 20, 30 feet high. He didn't want to be on camera, but says he is one of the many people who ran out of the building next door, barely having time to grab what he needed. Never seen nothing like it. Then all of a sudden the wires started burning and it, uh, two poles uh, burnt down to the ground. People near the area captured this video showing that chaotic scene. The, the heat was just intense. It was very, 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 real hot, real, real hot. It looked like the whole side of the building was on fire. Our roof was on fire. No one was hurt in the fire or fighting the fire, but the work is far from over. They say there's a lot of smoke inside the building right now. They don't know they're going to allow us back in anytime soon. So what we know now is that there were two damaged fire trucks in this fight, but I do have the Rocky River Fire Chief here with me tonight just to give us an update on what's been going on and where we stand now. So the fire, is it completely out now? The fire has been extinguished. Um, personnel will remain on scene all evening, probably the rest of the night, just to make sure we don't have any flare-ups or hot spots that we have to deal with. And one of the biggest questions, I think, is the power. We're standing here, the street lights still aren't on, and people are still in their homes. If they weren't displaced, they don't have power. Uh, what is the status on that? So we have restored power to the Hill Rock condominiums, which are located at the far east end of the city. Um, First Energy is working now to restore power to the remainder of Hilliard Boulevard up to Worcester. There will be the one other building that was involved in the fire will be out of power the rest of the evening, and Red Cross is taking care of those. Uh, victims, those displaced people. So no injuries. That's the good news tonight, right? Correct. No injuries tonight at all. Absolutely. And so moving forward, you said the fire marshal will be in in the morning. They're going to be taking a look at how this could have happened. Yeah, the fire marshal along with the West Shore Fire Investigation Unit will be here first thing in the morning to take a look and see if we can determine a cause um, on the fire. All right. Thank you so much, Chief. We appreciate it. And we'll be on this to give you updates as soon as we have more information on WKYC.com. Lena, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Dorsey.